Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here or welcome to the channel if you're new. My name is Camilla and today we are watching The Last of the Mohicans. Mohicans? Mohicans. If this is your first time here, bear with me. English is my third language, so it's not always that I know how to pronounce some words, but we're working on it. Guys, this time around we're watching The Last of the Mohicans and I have no idea what it's gonna be about. This is actually a Patreon request and you know what we do with Patreon requests. We don't really check what the movie is about. Of course I ask my mods and admins like, hey, have you seen this movie? Is this good enough for the channel? And they totally check it out for me. But all in all, I'm trying to keep it as spoiler free for myself as possible. The thing is this name or this movie seems very familiar because I have had so many recommendations of this movie when we were watching Braveheart I think it was yeah I believe it was Braveheart and now I believe that this is going to be around like the same genre I do not believe it's going to be a Mel Gibson movie or maybe perhaps but then again if I believe it's gonna be like Braveheart why would he play the same role twice kinda does that make sense I don't know I think we'll figure everything out when we start watching the movie Thank you so much for being here. My full reaction is over on Patreon. Make sure to check out my other social platforms such as my Twitch channel, my anime reaction channel, which is linked down below. Join our Discord server as well if you haven't already. Yeah, buckle up, find something nice to drink. I have myself a Red Bull. This is the energy drink version. And yeah, I actually don't have any snacks, but th th that is fine for this time. Yes, usually I have something nice to snack on, but this time around I did not. Anyways. Let's get into the movie. I have high expectations because this has been requested so many times. So I'm going to be a little bit upset if it's not any good. <laughs> I hope you guys feel pressured now. The year is 1757. Possession of the continent, yeah. Three men, the last of a vanishing people, are on the frontier west of the Hudson River. Interesting. 20th century Fox percent. <gasps> a film by Michael Mann. Oh my. Oh, yeah. But it's not Mel Gibson. So I was right about that. Stop! This is another novel, guys. There's so many novels that I want to read because of the movies that we watched. We will need to get to it. I do not like seeing that. Even though the hunting is so normal. As you will, the Lang. The Moican is a is a people because they speak it. They are Moicans. Oh. Settled with a woman, started a family by now. <laughs> Mohawk Field we saw was five mile long on the river. Chief 
Joseph Brandt. Well, where are you trading your skins, Castleton? Zylerville. Zylerville. The Dutch for silver. So what is it, Jack? What brings you here? French and Indian army are heading south out of Fort Caroline to war against the British. Are the people here going to join in that fight? Put trap over the fall. Winter in Kentucky. Bronca, she will say, you are the one. <laughs> Bear him many children. Oh, yes. that's what he's doing to his mama. <laughs> What a nice, lovely family. And just a group of people in general. <laughs> so look. John Cameron, thank you for your hospitality. You got no quarrel with Le Francais. Now Mohawk will fight Le Francais and Huron. His Majesty King George II is very grateful for your support. It would be enough to remind you all that France is our enemy. France is your enemy. While we're at your fort, what if the French attack our home? For king, for country. That's why you men ought to join this fight! Do not be telling us what we ought to do with ours. Oof. Do not call myself subject to much at all. <laughs> I agree with some of what Nathaniel and John say, but I believe England's still our sovereign. Go and fight the French. My brother and I will volunteer up. I'll fight with you, Jack. Any man who goes, his family's welcome to fort up with us till he comes back. We have enough here to fill the county levy. It's a fight we ought to make. <laughs> hmm. Interesting, interesting. You know what? I'm already a little bit scared for this because if I get too connected to these people and there's going to be a whole fight and war and it's called the last of the Moagans. Come on, there's only going to be one last living or something. That is going to break my heart and I hope that is not the case, but that is the title of the movie. They're not allowed to leave to defend their farm. The colonial militia is going to the Fort William Henry. Those yeah. men will be found arrested. I cannot imagine His Majesty and his benevolent, loyal American subjects defending their hearth and home, their women and children. Mm. Of course. You got yourself a colonial militia, General. Oh, boy. Safe journey, I trust. Yes, and I didn't experience anything so surprising from Bristol to Albany as that that I witnessed here today. One has to reason with these colonials to get them to do anything. Tiring, isn't it? But that's the lay of the land. I see you're to serve with the 35th Regiment of Foot at Fort William Henry. I'll be marching the 60th to Fort Edward. Explain to the Major he has little to fear. Their latinate voluptuousness combined. So the result is they'd rather eat and make love with their faces than fight. <laughs> I don't think you need to explain that. Daughters, I was to rendezvous with them in Albany and escort them to the fort, sir. The Scotsman has sent you one of his Mohawk allies to guide you. The Scotsman's daughters are at the Patroon's house. Dawn, at the encampment, 6 a.m. sharp. See to it, you're there. <laughs> so he was just looking at him. I was like, that's so early. I'll take it for you, sir. Cora! Duncan! arrived by god it's good to see you that is so romantic look they're just having tea outside on a field i don't know what to say duncan i truly wish they did but my feelings don't don't go beyond friendship don't you see respect and friendship is isn't that a reasonable basis for a man and woman to be married some say that's the way of it some in my heart i know once we're joined we'll be the most marvelous couple London. <laughs> Stop. I love love. In view of your indecision, you should rely on their judgment. Will you consider that? He seems like a lovely man. Please consider that. And he's giving you time, honey. understand English very well.
Duncan, I actually like you. You're all here to save them. In case your aim's any better in your judgment. Oof. <laughs> oh, snap. He roasted him. Did you hear that? In case your aim. The same as your judgment. Stop it! We need it! Easy to track. I'll be heard for miles. Katala Nashina. I ask a Katoch will have an Akatakanik Yawunj. We'll take you as far as the fort. That was crazy. We're walking out of here fast. No, actually, that was wild. Unless Ollie, you'd rather wait for the next year on war party to come by. Um, nope. Let's go. Ooh. You can do it. <gasps> Wait, the way he's looking at her? Mm, okay. Might be a little romance blooming. I don't know. Okay, if I went away from them. That here on Captain back the there. The guy is a mohawk. No mohawk is here on dark haired one. You never set eyes on her before today. Mm. You never heard a weak blood vengeance. How is it you were so nearby? Came across the war party, tracked them. No. Nope. Fort Edward, then. Heading west to Kentucky. There is a war on. How is it you are heading west? Well, we kind of face to the north and. Real sudden, like turn left. The militia is fighting the French in the north. <laughs> sure ain't no damn militia. <laughs> I like him. Oh no! They did come back. They came to the village. What about the kids? Where are the kids? I got the answer to that real quick. Ottawa, too français. What did you say? The clothes. Everything was inside. They were moving fast. The war party. So that means they were there only to ruin everything and, and the people that were there because they didn't want to have anything of the tools or mirrors and such. They cannot be left behind. Let us go, miss. I will not. And almost as cruel as your indifference. Miss Monroe, they're not strangers, and they stay as they lay. They actually knew them. Better than you did, Miss Monroe. Is it because they are moving fast, and they want to catch them before it's too late? Or could it be that they would come back to the house and stuff, and they will notice that people have done something there because of making a funeral? Why didn't you bury those people? We get the answer to that now. We're looking for our trail, we'd see it as a sign we passed that way. Exactly. There we have it. So what was number two? You knew them well. You were acting for our benefit, and I apologize. Chingach Cookie warned me about people like you. He said, do not try to understand them. Yes, and do not try to make them understand you. That is because they are a breed apart and make no sense. There. Uh-oh, there they are. Uh oh. No. Pas possible. Why do they turn back? Burial ground. Huh. Interesting. Your particular case, Miss, I'd make allowance. Thank you so much. 
Where's your real family? They buried my mom, pa, and my sisters. Shingachuk family with two French trappers raised me up as his own. I'm sorry. I not remember. I wasn't the one to. <gasps> my father sent Uncas and I to Reverend Wheelock's school when I was ten. Why were those people living in this defenseless place? After seven years indentured service in Virginia, they headed out here because Frontier is the only land available to Port. Not living by another's leave. Her name is Cameron. Man, this movie's already so upsetting. My father's people say that at the birth of the sun and of his brother the moon, their mother died and he drew forth from her breast the stars. The stars he threw into the night sky to remind him of her soul. So there's the Cameron's monument. My folks do, I guess. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Poe. We do not understand what is happening here. Living over in Boston and London. And any imagining could possibly have been. Well, you are very, like, privileged. So you're, you feel lucky not knowing what it feels like. You don't understand it because that's a whole other life. She doesn't know that life at all. Honestly, when people are like that, I don't feel like they should say sorry for not understanding, but it's more that they try to. And there's a bunch of people that don't even try to understand, you know? Top of the next ridge, four stands. So right now, I have a lot of respect for that woman. <laughs> Fetch water from the lake, build fires, and provide every comfort you desire. I cannot wait to see Papa. Oh, here we go. I've seen people move like this before. certainly does not know to send reinforcements. What happened to you? On the George Road. Attacked. Are you all right? Yes. This Magua led us into it. Eighteen killed. These men came to our aid. They guided us here. Thank you. Do you need anything? Some food. Indebted to you. Aww. Miss Corder, how are you? Hello, Mr. Phelps. Go with your sister. It'll be all right, girl. At least the dad knows that they're safe right now. But I also believe that he would not like to have them here safe. But somewhere else. I inquire after safe. the situation, sir. Given that I've seen the French engineering from the ridge above. When those trenches are 200 yards from the port and within range, you'll bring in these 15-inch mortars, lob explosive rifles. to be 300 yards out. 
Man here can make a run straight through the well. Three days is not enough time to get to Albany and back with reinforcements. He marched the 60th to Fort Edward two days ago. That's only 12 miles away. He could have reinforcements here the day after tomorrow. Captain Beams will seek you out and give it to you later. Something else came upon it yesterday. It was burned out. Everyone murdered. Here we go. More bad news. We mean so. It was a war party. That means they're gonna be attacking up and down the frontier. People here, Mohawks, settlers, have family out there. That'll be all, sir. <gasps> These people are safe, so now it doesn't care anymore, I guess. Things were done. Nobody was spared. Those considerations are subordinate to the interests of the Crown. To defeat France. That hangs on a courier to whip. For my children and the children of the true face, my friendship and esteem is boundless. I will sing the wars and with you at the great council fire. Magua. Hate this guy. Do we to one? Join us. Friends? I wouldn't call them friends. The English war chief Webb goes to Fort Edward with 60th Regiment. The other two couriers died in the forest. Four or five, including two women, entered the fort. They escaped. Oh. That's crazy saying that. Why do you hate the gray hair? They'll be under it again. When the gray hair is dead, Magua will eat his heart. Magua is insane in the head! Magua will put his children under the knife. His seed is wiped out forever. You need to be wiped out. Is that even okay for me to say? This is getting personal. You may have your opportunity soon. You guys are messed up. <gasps> messed up, I say. Let's call it. Gentlemen, looking for you. Miss Monroe. Yeah. We'll see. Then it's going to draw. But done holding hands with Miss Monroe. You've got some work to do. <laughs> Where are you just staring at her? What are you looking at, sir? Yeah, you're staring. I'm looking at you, Miss. Oh, yeah, we know that. Well, this is awkward. Okay, this is not act like it's not awkward after all. It's so cute, actually. But I think that Duncan is in love with her. So, what do we do about that? He's gonna have to. Well, they're not together, so that's that's cool. Get together by the West Bastion. Tight weave, sail another forty yards. So so loud, it scared me. Okay. Their aim is insane. The cabin was attacked by a war party fighting with the French. Before I weaken the fort's defenses by releasing the militia. Your fort will stand or fall dependent on Webb's reinforcements, not the presence of the colonials. Your uh, judgment is not more important than their right. Under agreement with Webb to defend our farms and families. What exactly did you see, Major? Would lead me to the conclusion it was other than a raid by savages bent on thievery. Feel this girl. A soldier and a gentleman. We're not forgetting Webb's promise. British promises are honored. Because I need more definite proof than this man's word. Nathaniel's word's been good on this frontier a long time ago. Yeah, his word is better than Duncan's. People do better making their own peace with the French. That is sedition! That is the truth. I'll have you. Someday I think you and I are going to have a serious disagreement. Anyone fomenting or not. <laughs> leaving will be shot for desertion. My decision is final. Get out. Oh, Duncan. And I said that I used to like you. I wanted to talk to you. No, she doesn't want to listen. Great, you woke up her sister too. I must manage. Alice, I'll see if Mr. Phelps needs anything. Cora, when we come together back in England, what had to be done and said here will matter not at all. I promised you an answer. You have complimented me with your persistence and patience. I'd rather make the gravest of mistakes and to surrender my own judgment. Please take this as my final answer. It must be no. Hello there, Duncan. You lost a girl. Susanna could never. I'm thinking about Legends of the Fall here.
These people are so scary. Ian, if I had kin in the settlements, hell be damn sure I'd be long gone. What do we do about Like, I wonder what the people around the bonfire was thinking right then and there. Their law no longer has rightful authority over us. All they have over us then is tyranny. I want to know what other people are thinking too, not only the main characters. I don't know. Anyone caught leaving the fort could be shot, so each man make your own decision. Those who are going be back in an hour. Strike to the east side of the swamp till you clear the French picket line. Fork left in Little Meadow and you're free of the outposts and skirmishers. Got no families, Captain. Figured we'd stay and give a hand. I got a reason to stay. Mm-hmm. No offense, but it's a better looking reason than you, Jack Winston. <laughs> Push hard. Good luck, Jack. They're scared too. Uncle is gone. Well, they are scary. Not too many to die. But we've given our word to our English fathers. Oh yeah, so everyone might die here. Because there are not that many people. Oh no, he passed away. She's so beautiful. She's like the beautiful or most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Wow. That is a better looking Ooh. reason I was going to say. He has his eyes open. is going to hate you sir just like if you didn't know well i think he already hates him He saved us. We were alive only because of him. Must be tried and hanged like any other criminal, regardless of what he did for my children. Are those the actions of a criminal? He knew the penalty for his actions. He ought to pay without sending you to beg. You falsely spoke of what you saw. To outweigh British interests in this fort. And who empowered these colonials? Oh, I always hate people like this. Oh. They do not live their lives by your leave, burying their children along the way. You are defending him because you've become infatuated with him. You are a man with a few admirable qualities. Taken as a whole, I was wrong to have thought so highly of you. Cora! Oh, so you're yelling Cora at her, but you're not yelling at Duncan? But this man is guilty of sedition. If that's justice, then the sooner French guns blow the English army out of America, the better it will be for the people. And if it's a sedition, then I am guilty of sedition too. Oh boy. They're going to hang you. Why didn't you leave when you had the chance? Because what I'm interested in is right here. Oh, what a man. Oh. Webb's reinforcements would arrive or not. That happens. Stay close to your father. Stay close to him. Try to protect the officers among the English. Do not. Take your sister too. The whole world's on fire. Pretty much. It's so hot here. I have to. Well, right now I figured out that I really don't like neither of the sides, except for the Moicans, you know. But that's uh, maybe the entire meaning with this. Oh, and now he's gonna get hanged. Oh. 
Stay close to your father in the offices. Colonel Monroe, I have known you as a gallant antagonist. And I yours, Monsieur Le Marquis. Under the command of a lesser man, it would have fallen long ago. Chance has allowed me to array against you. You call this parley for a better reason than an exchange of compliments. Spirit to the point. I beg you to consider my terms for your surrender and seize the size and imminence of the army of Webb. Scouts intercepted these dispatch intended for you. Capitaine de Bougainville, I regret to inform you that I have no men available to send to your rescue. I advise you to seek terms for surrender. This is the signature of Webb. You've heard your answer, Monsieur Le Marquis. Sir, I beg you not to sign the death warrant of so many until you have listened to what I have to say. Go on. None of your men will see the inside of a prison barge, so long as they return to England and fight no more on this continent and the civilian militia return to their farms. They may leave the fortress fully armed. Carry them to England with pride. Allow me to consult with my officers. I have lived to see something which I never expected. And that is? And we'll go back and dig our graves behind those ramparts. Death and honor are thought to be the same, but today I have learned that sometimes they are not. I am deeply touched by such unusual and unexpected generosity. Is he saying yes to it? To prepare my men and women for the long journey ahead and to hand my wounded over to your surgeons. Now what? Well, at least no more death, right? We don't have to hang him either, right? Now we're good. We don't have to do anything else that is brutal. Or devastating for that cause. Is the hatchet buried between the English and my French father? Yes, my master owned these lands. And I have been ordered to drive off the English squatters. So now I call them enemies no longer. It's still bright. Magua, go away. So many suns have set in oh, Magua. He's going to create so much chaos. Magua is the son of his people and he has come to lead many of them. Magua's village and lodges were burnt. So he lost his home too. Magua's children were killed by the English. <gasps> and that's why he wants revenge. I was taken as slave. He's not insane. He wants revenge. Magua's wife believed he was dead. Magua became blood brother to the Mohawk. I fear, having let them go, I will only fight the same men again. But I cannot break the term of the surrender. And Sully is the lilies of France. So he lost his kids. He lost his wife. No wonder he's boiling with revenge. They're gonna be jumped. They're in the forest again. We've seen this happen already. Oh, Mohawks. Huron. Scary people. Oh, help. <laughs> I'm scared, actually. Oh, he's running. He's going. <laughs> How are people not doing anything? Oh, there are a lot. Look at them go now. Do you see their shadows? Oh, they are a bunch. Look! <laughs> we just want happiness and peace. Come on. Oh, come on. 
happiness and peace. There are many, many. Uh oh. How are you guys so calm? Uh oh. And here they come. Wow, Cora, stone cold. She has fired a gun before. Uh oh. Oh, Duncan. I think. This might be it. Oh! Stay here. Before you die, know that I will put under the knife your children. Oh my god! He's not playing. Look at him. Oh, he got her in time, too. Run! Run like the wind! Boats! Boats are good! Come on! Let's go to the boats! Run! Not even go! Not... Just go! Run! <laughs> I'm so nervous! Like, I have goosebumps! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get out of here. Oh, Duncan. It is so weird that Duncan is not the one that got... Because it's been part of this twice now. Two attacks. Uh oh. Um, this seems more steep and longer than the first one. Imagine running for your life in a dress like that. <laughs> oh, he's gone. They took his heart out. Isn't Alice there? 
And you guys were yelling? Maybe not. They are so scary. It's so creepy. Look at the way they're hunting for them. With the war paint. Oh, that freaks me out. They're right there. Why are you screaming? They're right there. Why are you yelling? They're here now. Mm -mm. Oh, it's going. Why can't she run with them? Like both of them. You guys better come save them now. Keep her promise. Oh, he got really beat up. Maybe Last of the Morgans is not about only one man making it. Maybe those three are the last, you know? And that's it. All of them survive. All three of them. That is crazy that they find the same tree or bush in this huge woods. There are so many people and you guys are only three. Why are you walking like that? Just out in the open like that. Planning. Translate for me into French every word as I say. Stop your ears, Sachem. Let the children of the dead Colonel Monroe go free. Not repair, mon calm. Et meilleur dans l'ordre de la guerre, que les Yankees. Sachem, the French fathers made peace. Magua broke it. True. What do you hope? Long 
Don't you guys understand that you guys are the villains if everyone is scared of you? It's no respect if they fear you. Would Magua use the ways of Le France and the Yengeese? Would the Huron make his Algonquin brothers foolish with brandy and steal his lands? Would Huron have greed for more land than a man can use? Those are the ways of the Yengeese and the France traders. Magua's heart is twisted. True. Himself into what twisted him. I am Nathaniel of the Yengeese. Let the children of the dead Monroe and the Yengeese officer go free, which is a record of the days of my father's people. Speaks for my truth. Go away! True! Say it louder. What about the older one? I am not long, Caribbean. Take me. Will you tell him? Yes. Yeah, she's right. Is Duncan going to sacrifice himself? Yeah, he did. The character development? At the very ending of the movie? How dare you? Now I feel for him. And I've been hating him this whole time. Almost. I liked him in the beginning. And then I hated him. And now I like him again. Yeah, do it. And his suffering. But your sister. We don't know where she's going. Where are we going? Oh. 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 Uh oh. He's trying to protect you. He's trying to hurry up. Him too! Save your brother, please! What is she doing? Oh, is she gonna fall with him? I think she will. This is another one of those movies that has tragedy on the back burner. Oh, 
Oh no. You don't mess with a man's child. It was his son. <laughs> and she lost her sister. And he lost his brother. It's just so... It's so tragic. This became very, like... A very depressing movie. Which I did not expect at all. Is that how they mourn their dead? Swift and straight as an arrow shot into the sun, and let him take his place at the council fire of my people. He is Uncas, my son. Tell him to be patient and ask death for speed. The last of the Mohicans. Mm. He's the last one. Okay, friends, that was it for today's movie. We ended up watching The Last of the Mohicans. This is a war that is happening back in 1757, and we basically get to know the dying tribe of the Mohicans. We get to know the father, we get to know the son that is called Un Uncas. Then we get to know his white son that he's calling because he is adopted, which is Nathaniel. Nathaniel? And we get to see that they are trying to recruit the Mohicans to the British, but we're dealing with everything else that is happening in between here. And then Nathaniel is almost, you know, Hawkeye is almost going to get hanged during all of this because he gets people to run away, but he stays at their location, at their post anyways. And the Moicans really want to fight, but they're also afraid that their home will be attacked when they are away. That we saw in the very beginning of the movie. And when they were out there fighting, their home was actually attacked. We get to see that very early on in the movie, that their home is being attacked. And then the British doesn't want to help with that case at all. And that was it. That, that was their case. That was... And from there, everything just went downhill and i feel like this movie is basically it shows us that it has tragedy on the back burner we have seen this in other movies before for example with legends of the fall a river runs through it i felt had a little bit of it too legends of the fall the english patient and so on i felt like there was just so much tragedy going on all in all, I really enjoyed this movie. It showed us the history with the Mohicans. We got the dying tribe. We got to know family. We had family dynamics. We had the romance. We had the war going on. We had basically historical fiction and just everything that I need in like a basket to have it a good movie. I did really enjoy it. It was gruesome. It was devastating. It was very interesting yet exciting. And it was just everything all in one. And I really did enjoy this. Guys, my full reaction is over on Patreon if you want to watch it together with me. All my social media, they're linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to take care until I'll see you in my next video very soon. Bye, everyone. Put your hand